Acadiana, one local high school football team made history on Friday night. The West Gate Tigers played in a state championship for the first time in program history, but that was just the beginning. Sports anchor Madeline Adams has a report from New Orleans on the Tigers' dominance at the Dome. Well, no fairy tale season is complete without a fairy tale ending, and that's just what unfolded at Caesar Superdome on Friday night as Westgate made history. A goal line stand in the final minute secured the program's first ever state title as the Tigers beat Warren Easton 14 to 13 to claim the Class 4A championship. The time that they spend with us is with us. You know, our kids are with us 24/7, and we just know we just try to we try to keep them around and just do so much and just knowing that those kids will be going on, you know, but they'll be going on as champions now. So you got to put something in front of their name now. You got to put champion in front of them, and they deserve that. I think that we play very good, and we just have faith in each other. So we think that we we know that we got our obstacle that we got to go against. When I first came to Westgate, I knew that we had a special program. We just had to put some pieces together. And this season, we've been talking about it all year, like with those guys that we knew that was coming back that we were going to go state. And that was the mindset. So I feel like we just all bought in and made it happen. Since my freshman year, we had talent, but it was going to take some time. So when the senior year came, I was like, we're going to state and we're going to win it. So we've been through a lot during the season. And it's just, you know, people think that we're not good, but we just showed that we're the best team in 4 -E. Senior Danny Lewis Jr. scored the first touchdown of the game and seemingly always provided a spark when the Tigers needed it the most. The University of Cincinnati commit was named most outstanding player and says this championship cements his legacy at Westgate. Winning the state championship actually put the turn on top of my commitment because I feel like this is one of my goals to win a state championship and after that I wanted to play on the next level so I feel like this is the best thing to leave for like as, as a, um, a good name about myself or, or for Westgate. What made it even better is that it felt like thousands of fans from New Iberia were here at the Dome to witness it all. It's truly a night the Westgate community will never forget. Covering high school football at the Superdome, I'm Madeline Adams for Kayla Fly, News 10 Sports. And speaking of accomplishments, a man from Vermilion Parish is on top of the world after winning the World Championship Duck Calling Contest. Hayden Richard from Erath works in construction sales and owns a guide service. He says he tried since 2010 going to competitions, practicing over and over. To one day became the best of the best. His hard work paid off on November 27th when he won the 86th World Duck a Calling Championship in Arkansas, earning the title out of 55 competitors. It's unreal. It's surreal because it's something you chase. So most people don't, some people don't understand it, but for us, it's something we've been chasing for years and years and years and just trying to win. And the last time a person from Louisiana won that championship was in 1955. The struggle to stay afloat amidst staggering inflation, the cost to live is digging up.